Hey everyone, it's Nicole from KenHub, and thanks for joining us today to talk through the histology of peripheral nerves. So you'll likely already know that our nervous system is comprised of the brain and the spinal cord, which together make up the central nervous system, or the CNS for short. And that the nerves that serve the rest of the body outside of the CNS are the peripheral nerves, which is our subject, of course, for this tutorial. The peripheral nerves carry information back and forth between the CNS and the body, so anytime you move any part of the body, you're using your peripheral nerves. Let's zoom in a little bit and begin our tutorial with an overview of the peripheral nerves using a longitudinal section of a nerve as an example. And we'll be looking through the microscope and showing the parts of the nerve fibre in detail. We'll then change our view to a cross-section of a nerve to show the structure of a nerve and the connective tissue contained within it. After that, we'll take a minute to talk about the blood supply and the innervation of the nerves. And by the end, you should be able to describe the structure of a nerve on histology and successfully navigate the quiz we've made to test that knowledge. As a bonus, we'll discuss a clinical scenario where this knowledge is useful, namely peripheral neuropathy. All right, let's take a closer look at what peripheral nerves are using a longitudinal view as our example. So, if we take a peripheral nerve and cut it longitudinally like so, we end up with something like this on our micrograph. This section is stained with something called Laidwig's trichome, which colours connective tissue deep blue. The nerve fibre a paler blue, and the nuclei red. So let's take a closer look at the nerve fibres, highlighted here in green. Speaking accurately, a nerve fibre is an axon or dendrite, including its myelin sheath. So bearing this in mind, let's look at the parts of the nerve fibre. So let's up the magnification a little bit further. And by doing this, we can see each axon running through the centre of each nerve fibre. The axon is like an arm that carries the nerve impulse. On histology, it can be pretty difficult to see each individual axon as they stain fairly faintly. And the green highlight gives the game away a little bit, but if you need to identify an axon on an image like this, there are a few things to look out for. One, the axon stains faintly purple on H&E. Two, it runs in a line along the length of the nerve. Three, it can be found in the centre of the nerve fibre, about halfway between the dark blue lines, which signify the endoneurium. And four, they lie within the myelin sheath, which shows as this honeycomb-like arrangement on a white background. There are unmyelinated axons in the body, but the fastest conducting and the most efficient nerve fibres are those which are myelinated. So let's talk a little bit about what myelin is. Myelin is a fatty membranous tissue which encapsulates the nerve fibre. As fatty tissue does not take up any colour from Laidwig stain, it appears white on our slide. So why is it there? Myelin increases the speed and efficiency of impulse conduction along the nerve. And this is pretty important because the speed of that information could be the difference between life and death. The membranous component of myelin is the cell membrane of Schwann cells in the peripheral nervous system. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.